Good afternoon, church people. I just wanted to come to you briefly today with something of a devotion from our daily reading that our church is going through. Our reading today was in 1 Samuel, and we get to hear the story of the birth of Samuel, and we begin by hearing about his mom, Hannah. And I want to read to you about Hannah, and I also want to read to you about the sons of Eli the priest because there's two pretty marked differences, and they really highlight the approaches that we can take in coming to God. So let's hear how Hannah came to God, and let's hear how the sons of Eli came to God, and let's see if we can note the differences and how we can apply them quickly and and briefly into our lives today. It says that Hannah was praying silently. This is 1 Samuel chapter 12. While she continued praying in the Lord's presence, Eli watched her mouth. Hannah was praying silently, and though her lips were moving, her voice could not be heard. Eli thought she was drunk and said to her, How long are you going to be drunk? Get rid of your wine. No, my Lord, Hannah replied. I am a woman with a broken heart. I haven't had any wine or beer. I've been pouring out my heart before the Lord. Don't think of me as a wicked woman. I've been praying from the depths of my anguish and resentment. Eli responded, Go in peace, and may the God of Israel grant the request you've made of him. May your servant find favor with you, she replied. Then Hannah went on her way. She ate and no longer looked despondent. Isn't that something? She knew what she needed from God praying for a son, praying from the anguish that was within her heart. And it was mistaken for a slovenly attitude, coming drunk before God. But from the sincerity of her approach, God heard her and responded, not just with any son, but with the son who would usher in the kings of Israel and who would be the first counselor, first to Saul and then even to David, a wonderful, a remarkable man, says there was no one much like him. But let's hear the difference in Eli's own family. This is a little bit more difficult. Now, Eli was very old. He heard about everything his son were doing to all Israel and how they were sleeping with the women who served at the entrance to the tent of meeting. He said to them, Why are you doing these things? I have heard about your evil actions from all these people. No, my sons. The news I hear the Lord's people spreading is not good. If one person sins against another, God can intercede for him. But if a person sins against the Lord, who can intercede for him? But listen now. But they would not listen to their father since the Lord intended to kill them. By contrast, the boy Samuel grew in stature and in favor with the Lord and with people. Can you see the difference in the approaches? Can you see the two styles that we can approach God with? We have the approach of Hannah, where we approach God with deep anguish in our hearts, crying, tears seeking his favor upon our lives and then we have the casual evil of the sons of eli stealing from god's people making a mockery of their positions of power as christians we have been brought into a position of a kingdom of priests we are those who are ambassadors of christ people who would intercede for this nation so as you go about your week And even the rest of today, I pray that you would be like Hannah and that you would intercede well for the people and let us never take lightly or abuse the position of authority that God has given us. May God bless you greatly as you work according to his purposes today and always.